Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be doing something new on the channel. Today, we're going to be starting a series called Low Key Tech. In this series, we're going to be looking at new and upcoming tech products that I think are interesting, rare, cool, or just unusual. Some of these products might be limited edition or tricky to get your hands on. Hopefully, I can help some of you out and you can score some of these elusive items to add to your setup. First on the list, we're going to be looking at the Ducky Mecha Mini Frozen Llama Edition. This keyboard is the product of a collab between Ducky and MechanicalKeyboards.com. The frame is light blue and with the colorway of the keycaps and the Frozen Llama theme, it definitely gives off some Fortnite vibes. I think it looks really clean and I think the little snowflakes and small details like that on the back of the frame make this board even more special. With an asking price of $129, this is definitely not going to be a cheap pickup, but with a premium tag comes a premium product. Now. This has already been released in the standard plastic 1-2 mini edition, but this is the Mecha mini edition that has that aluminum frame that's going to add to the build quality and increase the weight of the board. There's a variety of Cherry MX switches you can pick from, and they even let you choose a bonus sticker or pin. The estimated restock date at the time of recording is June 6th, and these boards are going to be manufactured in rounds, with each round numbered on the case, meaning if you want to get your hands on one, it would be smart to hand over your money while you still can. Trust me, when they released the original Frozen Llama last year, they limited manufacturing to 3,000 units, and those sold out almost instantly. Definitely excited to have snatched one up this time around, and I'm looking forward to seeing it on my desk this summer. Second on the list, we have the Drivo Caliber V2 Pro. If you haven't heard about this keyboard, it's a wireless version of its wired counterpart, the Drivo Caliber V2. As far as I can tell, the only upgrade they made to the Pro version of this keyboard is the added wireless capability through Bluetooth 5.0. I'll be doing a full review on the Pro version when I get my hands on it sometime next week, so stay tuned for that. As far as specifications, it has a 71 key layout similar to the rising in popularity 65% layout except it has an additional column on the right side of the board. Switch options are Automa Blue, Red, or Brown. Color options as far as the case and keycaps are white and black and this board also has RGB lighting along the side of the case. Part of what made the wired version so popular was the price point and they seem to be sticking with their budget friendly boards pricing this pro version at only $60. Unlike the other items on this list, it isn't going to be hard to find or have very long wait times with it being available for purchase on Amazon. The reason I put it on this list is because I haven't seen a lot of talk about this board, well, besides its one post on Reddit, and I'm curious to see how it'll be received by consumers with its wireless upgrade. Moving on to number 3, we have the Alex Otos and the Key Company collab mousepad. This is supposed to be the first of many collabs with various artists in the Key Company. I almost missed out on this mousepad just because I didn't know it existed until yesterday, which is surprising considering how amazing this thing looks. Even with following a bunch of tech YouTubers and Instagram accounts, this was hard to find out about. I mean, it was completely under the radar for me. Right now, the only way to buy it is through a group buy on the Keydog Company website, and it'll be available to purchase through April 1st. This is a large mouse pad sized to cover a large portion of your desk, so it'll fit your keyboard and mouse comfortably. It has stitched edges and features what looks like a Cherry MX brown switch on top of some Japanese writing that says keyboard switch. It's honestly the best looking mouse pad I think I've ever seen, and the design and colorway is just so unique and cool. If you do get one, you'll be standing in line with the rest of us as the expected ship date is June 1st. Oh, and did I mention it's only $25? That's insane considering this is a completely custom extra large mouse pad that's probably going to be hard to come by in the months following the first round of shipments. This is absolutely going to be on my desk as soon as I get it. Last on the list is the Holy Panda Mechanical Keyboard Switches from Drop. I don't think any more can be said about how great these switches are, but here's a quick rundown. These are Franken switches combining the stems of Halo Clears and Halo Trues and the housing of Invir Panda switches to form one of the most unique and satisfying switches yet. The main reason you buy these though is the feel of the switch, which is extremely tactile and satisfying to type and game on. As far as purchase options, it's going to be $70 for $70, $90 for $85, and $110 for $100. They have a 67 gram spring, feature a salmon colored stem, and this time around they're going to be unlooped from the factory. If you didn't know, on the first shipment of these switches, they were pre-looped from the factory. But if you went to the review section of the purchase page, there were horror stories of uneven lube, 
damage to the switches, and it was a complete mess. I think they made the right move this time around, as some people don't even care to loot their switches in the first place. And the people that do want to loot their switches, 99% of the time want to do it themselves. If you're watching this video close to release, you still have time to get these as the website lists these available for purchase for 24 more days. But per usual, expect to be marking down the days on your calendar as the estimated ship date is June 22nd. That's gonna wrap up the first video in this series. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, hit the sub button to stay up to date on when new tech drops. All right, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.